Hey viewers, and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. Got us a 2015 Hemi Dodge Ram, half ton. Needs brakes all the way around. Gonna bring it along. We haven't had a brake job in the SMA video in probably a week, so stick around. Oh, so we have to remove these little retainers. You can use a chisel, give them a little slap on both sides. They'll go flinging, so make sure you engage safety squints. Or if you'd like to reuse them, you can peel the little fingers off and take them off that way. And then we will rotate it. Remove our caliper. What's up, Mrs. O? Question. Like a question you can ask me with the camera drawn because we're trying to do a video. Um, no, but it's not that important. Use code words if you have to. I just need to know um, how I go about getting this part here. So these what part here. you got? You call the Chevrolet garage. This one? Yep, with okay. the VIN number. Okay. They want a key in fob or just mm -hmm. a fob? Yep, call there. Give them the VIN, ask them to cut the key per VIN number, please. Mm hmm. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Okay. You can do it. Thank you so much. What I do. Bring me pleasure. So we'll make sure our caliper is good before we get too far. We're just going to push in the piston. I get a lot of comments on our channel because I push in the pistons without opening the bleeder. Settle down. All right. Been doing brake jobs for almost 20 years. Actually, for 20 years now, I guess it would be next month. Do an average of, uh, I don't know, two or three a day, I guess, if you want to have an average. And uh, I've yet to ever replace a ABS hydraulic control unit because of pushing the pistons in. So if that gives you any kind of confidence. Looking like the old impact's getting a little sad here. Wow. Uh, we're going to pull the bracket off. Oh, gosh, right in my eyes. Oh, gosh. Oh, clown show. Get the impact going the right way. All right, here we go. There's that. Let me, uh... Let me do something. over. This is customer request to replace pads. The ones on the other side were seized up like a banshee. These ones not as bad. These are the bracket, the other one fell out. And a little bit of rust jacking on the end of this one where the pad starts to separate from the backing plate. I believe these are the original original pads on this. I'm gonna take a look at our pins here real quick, make sure they're lubed well and they appear to be they're not seized up or anything all right oh we better hang our caliper things are about to get real set that to the side a little grab a little hammer and i got to tap the rotor off it, this these are rusted in place so we're gonna give her a few whacks if you're hitting it from the back side and you miss with your hammer and you hit the ears on the spindle it's junk, just FYI, so don't miss. Yeehaw! Let me guess, they won't cut the key for you because you need a driver's license and all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And some blank. And then what? And we'll take care of it. Trust me. Remember trust issues that we had? I guess we don't have any, do we? I <laughs> just want to understand it. It's not a trust issue. So you see, you either have to give me your locksmith ID number or send in the people's mm -hmm. license and our license, everybody's license, because they got to log in mm -hmm. to NASTIF mm -hmm. to cut the key. Or, or you just get a blank, we go downtown and have them cut it for us. That's and, right. That's right. And then we program it, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> How's that sound? They just want to make sure we're not stealing somebody's car, right? 
Plus, he can't even get the key codes unless he logs in. See what I'm saying? You know what's called security. I got a question. Security. Can't we just get the key code or get the key and the fob, program it, and say to these? Uh, nope, because people. you got to put it in the ignition to turn it on. You with me? It's got to be cut. I know. I didn't. I, my question wasn't even. I tried done. to derail your question. But you didn't get it right. All right, go on. Go ahead and speak. It's your turn. Because of these customers could handle this, can we just get them and have them stop by the local place and have it cut? And then bring it back to me? It doesn't need to be programmed, does it? The key does, yeah, I won't. It does? Yeah. It's not just it's cut? Not, no, it's a special key. It has oh. special stuff. <laughs> Don't you know anything? Obviously not. That actually, uh, so fresh. I know everything else. You know everything else? No, no, I don't. Don't ask questions. I don't know. People like it when you come on YouTube. Why? I don't know. You think that's asbestos? I don't think it's good for you. Whatever it is. You know what else is not good for me? Booze. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> It was backwards. I didn't even know what it was. There, I think we got the fill of it now. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, let's see. So, I don't even know where we are. I guess we're pretty much done with this side. Anything else you want to talk about? Yes, actually. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go to the back first. I... Let's jump. So I just caught your yawn. You yawned, I caught it. Isn't that what they call it? We're on to the rear. So we move the rear caliper. This one looks like she's throwing some rust dust. So she's probably ground down to the metal. Unhook our ABS there. So what was so important that you had to talk to us, Mrs. O? I wanted to know if I that? I wanted to know. Know what? It's if you want. Should order tires for my car. Or if you're gonna wait to see what's wrong with it. Whoa! Hey, don't hang it by the hose, folks. Rule number one. Whoa! Lots of metal. Carney. Baby's caked on there, like stuff that gets caked on there. Come up with a good uh, nail. That thing's caked like a. Fill in the blank, that's though. All I can think is like a baby's boogery nose. That baby's caked like a baby's boogery nose. <laughs> I don't think What's that was. the last works? time you had a baby with a boogery nose? No. I don't know, that's all I can think of. You're just making stuff here at mom. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna pull the bracket. You didn't answer my question. I'm thinking about it. Whoa, baby. I need a new impact here, Miss Bill. You always need a new tool. Yeah, well, let me show you something. Okay, what? Just a Oh, I don't think you're supposed to do that. You are. It's like not the pants up. Mm -mm. Look at my impact. You see that anvil? Mm. See how broke that is? Mm -hmm. It's still working, right? Yeah, it is. You don't need a new we'll one. Talk to people. It's probably my 10 o'clock. It's 10 no, minutes. It's right here. Oh, are they waiting? Not, not really. Oh, well. So, yeah, these pads have passed their prime. Them little guys out. Woo! She done wore that one. Ow. So there's that. Oops. This will knock the hardware off. You don't need that. Pay attention to this hardware meow because you'll notice. See how it's offset? You got to make sure that you don't put it on. Let's say, for example, like 
this, where the pad, the hardware is offset to the outside, it needs to be offset to the inside. So pay attention. And now we have to get the rotor off, but we have to back the parking brake shoes off. And Mrs. O needs me. Just had a guy stop in with his 2015 Chevrolet. And it was puking all antifreeze all over the place. Half ton pickup. And the uh, spring clamp on the upper hose was cracked. So I just had to yank that clamp off and stick a regular worm drive clamp on it. So I'm reaching in, backing off the star adjuster for the parking brake. So you can get the rotor off there. I find it's best to back them off all the way. You back to join us, Mrs. O? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can't see, but I show them the gist of it. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Look at that. What's that for? Yeah, that's a tip. It's called it's called fixing a car in the driveway tip. Whose car? Ernie. I mean, it's the one guy. What did you trip. do? Fixed his antifreeze leak on his 2015 Chevrolet. Put on your safety squints. Whoa! Almost got you, Mrs. O. I was looking the other way, not stupid. I, yeah. I tell people. Cover your eyes and your ears. Son of a monkey. Boom. Where's your earplugs? Huh? Where's yeah, your Yeah, you see what plugs? I did there? You see what I did there? Go stick that by the bucket where you want. Uh. No. <laughs> wow. Just like a baby's boogers. <laughs> They're all crusty. Yeah, all crusty. Scrape them off. Old metal plate. <laughs> Sometimes you probably do. Or you could. Don't do that. What? Scrape baby's boogers. I'll scrape baby's boogers with you. <laughs> That's good parenting advice. Have you found? Ah. Really? <laughs> Oh, they can't even see me. I'm trying to give you a show. Not for the people, though. So, you didn't answer my question yet. It's because I'm avoiding you. I like to play. Totally avoiding me. Watch out. Ugh. Come on. What? Uh, da, da. So, now we have to clean up the axle face here, which it, it may look dingier than it is in real life on the camera. It's not that dingy, folks. We're going to give her a quick little scrub. Mostly around the hub. And then... Ah, the freaking compressor every time, I swear. I was like, yeah, it's $1.98. Mm -hmm. That was pretty much all I told him. So before you push this piston in, you do have to get some of the metal boogers. Off, metal boogers off the rubber because I don't really have a good reason. It's just you have to. <laughs> I'm gonna scrape some of this crap off. 
Because you don't want them getting all folded up in there. Causing problems? Yep. Well, they're all magnetic. Get some of that off. So, yeah, we'll look at your band, Mrs. O. <laughs> you had a nickel for every time you heard that, huh? Mm -hmm. One viewer got really nasty with me telling me that I treat my wife like garbage and there's no way that his dad's wife, like in 1950-something, some, some, I don't know. Basically, I'm an a-hole. <laughs> was, that was a long and short of the whole. It was a long, long comment. Hmm. It's pretty comical. Tell me how bad I treat you and because you have to do things that are otherwise a man's job, this and that. It was something like that. I don't know. I didn't let it get to me. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. Yep. 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 That's all I got to say. So we're going to use the double dong presser for a single dong piston. Just set it off to the side and push it with a single donger. That's pretty much a life hack. I don't even know where we're going with this video anymore at this point. This is all. Oh, she got a little puffy on me. Not to fear. We need a pick, Mrs. O. Why, you can put a hole in it? Yep, just jam a hole in the boot. <laughs> you know me. You gonna get us a pick or you gonna make us stand here all day? Probably you don't got a pick out? That's I thought you said you had all your tools you needed. I would get it. It's a man's job anyways. All right, so now we're gonna jam a hole in it. Not really. Don't jam a hole in it. How do you not jam a hole because in it? Because you work it. Work it, girl. How could we don't use something a little duller? Because you need to be able to get underneath the lip of the rubber boot. Mm, okay. Seems dangerous. Keep your pick pointed don't towards. Don't you got the, like a plastic? Something? Listen. Listen. Keep your pick pointed well, we towards the plastic. Are we listening for a hole being made? No. Keep your pick towards the plastic boot. Find the groove. Get in it. Pick it up. Hmm. And then work it. And the air will work out if you get into the groove. Oh, you're just, you are trying to put a I'm hole not in trying, it. I'm using the bag to get the air out. Don't you have some food to cook or something? <laughs> I am hungry, but it's not time yet. <laughs> hmm. Oh, come on, girl. Caliber's a girl. I'm not going to press my luck anymore. There's still a little bit of air in it. However, hmm. the piss. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. It means there's air. You asked too many questions. Why are you trying to get the air out if it doesn't Because mean anything? what will happen is the rubber will come in front of the piston, and then when you pump up the brakes, then the rubber will Then how come you snag. don't have to get all the air out? Because at this point, the rubber is behind the face of the piston, so when we pump it up initially, the what piston... What about right there? That looks like it's I'm, still sticking out. I'm done talking to you. <laughs> you? This is why I talk to the YouTube people, because they can't ask questions. <laughs> I'm just like, do it like this, and they're like, yeah, okay, and... You don't know what they are like. That's what they're like. I know exactly what they're like. I'm just dealing with them now. Why? So do you ban all the people that disagree? I don't ban anybody. Check my ban list. <sighs> no. Nah. Unless they say something oh. like that. Yeah. That'll get you go. Imagine how the people with headphones are feeling right now. <clears throat> all right. So it's snowy out. We're supposed to get seven to eight inches of snow the next few days. <laughs> and you don't know if I should order tires? I couldn't drive on the inch that was out there the other day. Oh, so many comments I could give you right now. Um, yeah, get your tires going on. Seriously. You want me to order the tires? Oh, customer's here. Oh, you're saved by the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, Meet Dave. Over there, we have Roger. Of course, you guys already know Roger if you've been watching my channel. And if you haven't, Roger is the bench grinder. Because I bought it at a yard sale back in 05 from a guy named Roger. Is this one a magical vice? Uh, well, we usually don't give people's last oh. names. Okay. It's Dave B. He sent me this vice mm -hmm. and a letter. And he writes. Hi Eric, I thought you could use another vice. You have given me a lot of inspiration. <laughs> to be more thorough, more patient, and more exacting in my work. Love Dave. With what do you heart? think about that? Yes, heart, smiley face, XOXO. XOXO. 
What do you think about that, Mrs. O? Have you ever thought of me as being inspiring, thorough, and patient? You sure are thorough. Well, any job worth doing, worth doing right. Ben Franklin, 1860. Inspiring. Hmm, inspiring. Hmm. So this is the front cow bracket. We're going to lube it up. However, we're not going to install the pads because the pads have some anti-drag devices that go on them that make them a pain in the hoo-ha to stick in the bracket. So here's our pad. Here's our abutment hardware with anti-drag spring clip. I'll show you. So we'll stick them on. That's how they go on. We will put the bracket on first. Of course, we've already installed the rotor, which you did not see. I told him to show you, but... It's a rotor, so you simply spray a little fluid film, put it on. Now we'll do the back bracket. This is a pretty good nice spice, I'm not going to lie. It's smooth compared to the old red over here. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. It ain't broke, so. Stay at home. And do what with it? I don't know. Use it at home. No. You don't have one at home. I don't work on stuff at home. I have a Sometimes. shop. Sometimes. Yeah, and I'm swearing and throwing stuff the whole time. I don't have a vice. <laughs> Not really. So we'll lube this up. There's gonna be a day you're like, that you're gonna say, man. I wish I had a vice. But you're not gonna say it to me, cause then I'm gonna be like, see? Told you, told you. So remember how we showed in the rear, install the pads off, or the abutment hardware offset to the inside. Pay attention. If you get them wrong, well, I'm not sure what'll happen. Is that because you never get them wrong? Why would I put them on wrong? People are paying me to do the job. So these things are a real PETA. That is an acronym for pain in the hoo-ha. So you have to get underneath these clips with a screwdriver and lift them up gingerly. They put a lot of pressure on the pad. So we'll slide the pad over until it gets to the edge of it. We'll lift her up ever so slightly you got to kind of stick it in here a little, a little bit cockeyed. What does cockeyed mean? Not straight. It's got to be deeper, deeper than that. Unfortunately, if you're cocked, right? Usually it means you're under the influence, right? Well, that's what we can say. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm sure. I just. I'm sure this is not going to go well. So. <laughs> and if you're if you're under the influence, you don't really see straight, right? So you're cockeyed. It's. It's not straight. Yeah, but some sometimes All when right. we need to know, I'm gonna go look. Well, no, wait a minute. What if when we're talking about somebody like, oh man, that guy was all he was half cocked. Does that mean he's only half drunk? Because I always use that reference, like, oh yeah, it's half cocked, and then you know I, what I mean. I, I, mean, I usually so. mean you're pretty well schnockered. Well, that's because you're trying to make it seem like you're not so drunk. I was only half cocked. I've never heard somebody be like, oh yeah, I went out and I was full cocked. That's ridiculous. But all I was like, you wouldn't need an, uh, an anything to explain it. You would just be you were cocked. I see. You want me to find out? Yeah, go get the Urban Dictionary. No, this ought to be good. This ought to be good. So now remember, we were looking up the term cockeyed. I'm looking up the term cockeyed. Do not Google the word cock. cocked because <laughs> I'm just saying. Alright, I know, I just, I know, uh, let's see, we're going to take crooked, askewed, not level, absurd, impractical, drunk. Drunk! <laughs> if you're cockeyed, you're drunk? Yep. I see. Oh, uh, which bolt's going to work? Now I forgot. Don't look it up in the Urban Dictionary? No, don't, don't look it up in the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> okay, people just pause the video. Open the new tab and are now looking it up. So, yeah, don't say anything. I'm not. This is rated G channel. This is oh, you've already taken it to the next level. I'm not taking it any You're level. Like on a level nine. I'm just saying, no. And it says also, a cockeyed is also a person who can't see straight because they're cockeyed. Mm hmm. That's kind of like somebody that. is cross eyed. Somebody describing a person's cross eyed look when a. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Choose your words carefully, like I always do. That's what I always do. Think before I speak. That's my number one rule. 
All right, rarely apply it. <laughs> apply it. I guess it would be. Da, 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 da. Where's my lube? Double lube. We're gonna come over here. Pick our caliper back up. What kind of pickup truck has coil springs in the back, seriously? Make sure our pins are nice and free. They are. We're gonna lube up our caliper here. Oh, Miss, I heard you just tisk out your mouth. And <laughs> cocked is a term used for for a drunk person. That person is drunk or look cocked. Up, look up half cocked. Okay. Wouldn't it just be obvious? Oh, I got that awkward silent moment. Um. So this one, you have to be mindful of, of how these go. See how it's got the little hook doodad there? You're going to come in. You got to hook that one in first. Push up. Push your rubber back on this side of your pin. And then slip the bottom one down in. And then line up your uh, bolt holes. I hope that made sense. I've kind of lost track of what I'm actually doing here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if the brakes are going to work on this thing when I'm oh, done. Oh no. Okay, Hopefully. so Hopefully. it could mean half drunk. It could also mean an uh, describing a behavior that implies being done with impulsive or done without considering the consequences. Oh, that is me like 98% of the time. Hmm. So if I do something wrong, I'm be like, well, that was just a half cock decision. Sure. And it would be correct. Okay. Well, not maybe. Would, you it just, get, would it get me off the hook? A decision implies that you like decided something based on a thought. This is without thinking. Or like I said, ninety-nine. Also, it could re refer to firearms that are not fully cocked. Exactly, like an old hammer gun. Muskets and revolvers have a lowered, half cocked, and full cocked position for the hammer. There you go. This is kind of like the learning channel. Yeah. So basically, if you're going into combat and your weapon is. Oh, now you're going to give us combat advice, okay? Only half cocked, then you're not fully ready, prepared. So, so, so you're not. You say, you're not CBR. Yeah, I was only half cocked. I wasn't fully prepared. I wasn't cocked and locked. I think that would be the other term. <laughs> yeah, but we're not talking about another term. We're talking about this this term. I see. So we're adjusting the parking brake at this point. If anybody's still with us. <laughs> so what I like to do is run them out till they're tiger tight. Like right there. Ugh, shoes are all the way out. And we're going to back her off a few clicks. Oops, if I can get a hold of it. Oh, you did it. Now you did it. There we go. There's one. Four. Four and a half clicks is the magic number. Not really. And then we're going to put a rubber back in. Whoop, whoop. Make the little noise. Make sure she still spins. Oh, nice. Uh, so is there anything else you want to tell us? Um. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> You've already lost your train of thought, huh? Uh, I don't even know. Why did you even bring that up? Um, I don't know. You're going to have to watch your video. Yeah, maybe I will. So... Do you want to talk about our feelings? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Are you happy right now? I noticed you were laughing. Me and Mrs. Over in a class. <laughs> <laughs> A parenting class, and right now we're talking about feelings. What is that's that? my favorite part of the class. <laughs> you like to talk about your feelings? No, but the lady likes to pick on me because I told her, I said, lady, I ain't talking about my feelings. That's why I told the lady. And she's like, oh, let's, let's talk about that. <laughs> like, maybe you didn't hear me, lady. I'm new feelings. Yeah, it's not a class to talk about your feelings. Yeah, but they want to try to give examples and like, oh, you too can talk about your feelings and not just 
get your kids to talk about their feelings because the feelings are ultimately the root of the behavior. Feelings, no, they, they said feelings, thoughts, and sensations. So whether they're sick, whether they have an emotional feeling, or sometimes it's from what they are thinking. But what the point is, is to help them identify their feelings so that they can say, I feel angry, I feel sad. So you help them by saying, I can see that you seem sad. Now what if, what if you're like, by you implying how they feel, you actually generate that feeling? What if they're like, I think you know, you, inside they're like, I'm super happy, but then I'm like, oh, I can see you feel sad. Then they're like crying all of a sudden because you just made them um, sad. No, see, if they seem happy, you don't say you seem sad. Well, I'm just saying, I'm not a mind reader. Well, you also need to have a little bit of wisdom, yeah, you know, to I say, do. oh, you know, you're crying, you seem sad. Or maybe they know. just got something in their eye and they're really pissed off because they're just like, I got, just got something in my eye. Mm. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not re doing real good with this part of the class. Mm -hmm. Wait, so they're not crying, they're pissed off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think part of it is not actually like or what if they're just projecting like and your they're just, feelings. And they're, just, they're just neutral. What? Nobody's neutral. I am. Yeah. Um, should I give a tip right there? Sure. So, put the pads in, and then uh, put the caliper on. That was your tip? I'm, I can't just... Was there something that you... I'm couldn't... feeling frustrated right now. Why? Because you're out here, and you... I tried to start to do a video, because I got no videos, and I had to give them a breakdown video, and now here I am. I can go back in the office. That's okay, we love you. I still love you. Even if you sabotage their video. <laughs> Even if you're a sabotager. So what? You're done talking about your feelings? Never started. Yeah, you Oh, I suggested it though, didn't I? It was kind of I was kind of being a smart <laughs> it's like we gotta talk about our feelings, but what kind of guy really wants to do that? Lots of guys can talk about their feelings oh, and yeah. not feel like they're losing some of their manlyhood. That's it on this brake job, Mrs. O. We gotta take a tutor on town. Oh, and this lady who owns this vehicle left me a note on the inside. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. And a jar of honey. Hmm. What? From a bee. <laughs> that reminds me of a joke. Oh. <laughs> what kind of bees make milk? Oh, gosh. Boobies. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that the best joke ever? No. <laughs> All right, I gotta put the wheels on and take a tune around I think around you time. know a better one. Something about tuna fish. I've already told my tuna fish joke. Like a million times. Yeah, I know. Right. I gotta take this for a ride. You guys wanna go for a two? Woman. Look at my face. All the way. Oh, you're such a bang. We last out. Uh. Over there by the door. Oh, don't kick me. How you like your new door, huh? Woo, look at that baby. Where's the button? I thought you were getting a button. You are my button. Uh, and I like to push it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you want to see my note? I haven't read it to the people yet. Whoa, baby! Was this a bribe? Yeah, What's I think... What's really in here? I think it means I'm sweet. Mm. Oh, it's... What's the note say? It says, Eric, don't embarrass me to your internet friends. Thanks. <laughs> Winky face. <laughs> and some honey. And some honey. Yep. To bribe you. That's right. Not to do that. Ah! Alright, good luck. Ah, freaking snow. 
snow, snow, snow. It's that time of year again. Got a couple inches the other day. Most of it melted, at least down here in the valley. question too. What? More of a request. Great. For once. I would rather walk in here just one time and see you using You're such a pain. your stand up monitor. Why? Let's see it. No. Which question? You've got questions, we've got answers. Is there a way? Who, who says that? What is, what's slogan is that? You've got questions, we've got answers. Go ahead. Uh, to find a document based on the, like the way it was saved, like dot, like. Yes. Okay. Can you help me with that? You think I'm some kind of IT guy? I just, oh, no, you yeah. usually have I'll all the answers you. I need. Can I try this, honey? Mm-hmm. No luck. <laughs> Don't be an a-hole. <laughs> I want to be. What do you think? Oh, I think it tastes like a bee's behind. What do you think? It's like the golden sauce. Give us an outro for our video. Come on, I gotta get to my 10 o'clock. It's good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, wow. Tastes Seven like honey. Yeah, well, give us an outro. Be like, there's page orders and that <laughs> stuff and whatnot. Don't look up half cogs. On the Urban Dictionary. What else? I'm right. Talk about your feelings. Talk, Talk about, about your feelings. feelings. It's not going to make you less of a man. No matter what he tells you. It's good for you. It is. It's really changed my life. Hopefully, it's going to help See, with I'm your doing parenting. And I am. I'm a good parent, Vanessa. I'm, I didn't say you weren't a good parent, Eric. Why are you trying to defend yourself? I'm not. Give an outro. See you later. That's not how we do it. We all say see you later. <laughs> Tom, we, we did a little work on some breaks. And Why do you get that Tom? It's there at this point in the video. They've seen they it all. The, I can do it. You can do it. Give some. If he can do it, you should give it a try. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? It's good. Are you going to say goodbye?